welcome back. So for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my new wig that I received from Uniwig. It's been a while since I've done a video on wigs and stuff, so here it is. And this one is called Harper Remy Human Hair Wig. It's 16 inches and I believe it's in the color 10R. I'm not too sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave all the descriptions down below so you guys can go ahead and check that out. But I believe this wig is 10R Creamy Ice. So for this video, I'm just gonna show you guys how I put it on and how I styled it. And yeah, let's get to it. So the first thing that you wanna do is cut off the lace part of the wig. Now what I'm doing here is just pulling and clipping back the hair so that when I cut it off, it doesn't get any of it. And you wanna make sure to cut it as close as possible to the hairline. You can either do this while it's on your head or you can do it when it's on a mannequin. And I find it a lot more easier when you do it on a mannequin so that you can try to cut it as close as possible and not try to cut yourself while you're doing it. Before we get started, I just want to show you guys some of the products that I received. This one is the silicone headband and what it does is it helps secure the wig onto your head without having to use any kind of glue or um, any tapes. And same thing for this one. This one is called the velvet headband. It also came with some clips, an adjustable strap, some wig caps, and last but not least a silk bag so you can put your wig in there. So as you guys can tell, I already braided my hair and I'm going to go ahead and try on this wig. I know a lot of you guys always see me wear the cap, but I think this time I'm going to go ahead and try on the new thing that they sent me. And I believe this part is supposed to be for the middle. So this is how the wig look like. It does look a little bit um, unnatural and I haven't styled it yet nor did I pluck the top part. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. But I do feel like the wig is a little bit more yellow to my liking. It is a very pretty color but for me I'm more of an ashy person. So I'm going to go ahead and use my purple shampoo and just kind of tone down the yellowness a little bit. And I'm going to come back and show you guys how to style this wig. So first off, I'm going to pour in some purple shampoo into a container that I filled up with some cold water. I'm just going to mix that all up and then soak in my wig for about a minute or two. After you're done, you're just going to go ahead and rinse it off, apply some deep conditioner, rinse it off again, and just blow dry it. As you can tell, the wig looks so much cooler and it just really amazed me how much purple shampoo can do to your hair. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the wig back onto the mannequin head and I'm just going to go ahead and pin it down with some glass head needles. And after that I'm going to go ahead and just comb out the hair. Now you always want to comb from the bottom up, never from the top down just because it gets all tingly and it's a headache to try to you know, untangle everything up. Now I'm just going to go ahead and blow dry the hair until it's completely dry. And after that I'm going to go ahead and apply on some coconut oil before I start styling it. To style the wig, I am using my curling iron from Con Air, and I believe this is in the size 1 and 1 fourth inch. And I'm just going to go ahead and curl away from the face. And I'm going to start off from about 4 inches away from the scalp, leaving about 1 inch at the tip. Once you're done curling it, you're just going to pull on the curl so it creates a nice beachy look instead of tight curls. And you're just going to go ahead and do this throughout the whole hair. I know that this is kind of out of the blue, but I just want to mention to you guys that the wig company that I've been working with is doing a 10k giveaway on their Instagram account. And if you guys are interested in winning a free hair topper, then I will be leaving the link down below on my description box so you guys can go ahead and check that out.
once you're done, you're just gonna gently comb through the curls with your fingers. For the hairline, I'm taking my brow razor and I'm just gonna shave off the top part a little bit. And usually I will pluck it, but then I'm kind of lazy today, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this method. And honestly, this is so much better and I feel like it's so much faster compared to plucking it. Now that the wig is on, I'm taking my hot curling iron and I'm just gonna press down on the roots so that it can be flat and it doesn't look so poofy. And last but not least, to make your curl stay, I'm gonna go ahead and spray on some hairspray. And that's pretty much it guys. Don't forget to use my coupon code, it is PING15. That'll give you 15% off your whole purchase from Uniwig. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on my next. Bye guys.